All right, so this is part three of the, uh, cab the cabinet assembly. Uh, so next we're going to go ahead and do is add the window that will appear here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit control tab and go to the door assembly. I'm going to hit the Z button two times so I can see the back, as it says here. I'll hit F to do full screen. I will right click one of the components. I'm going to hit edit part which will allow me to edit this part while I'm still looking at the assembly. So I'm going to hit sketch and do a corner rectangle. We're going to do from can get into this. So from that corner to this line and we're going to go ahead and smart dimension that. We're going to do 0.125, which is one eighth of an inch. And then we are going to feature extrude cut. And we are going to cut that to one sixteenth of an inch which is 0 0.0625 inches. And we are going to hit the full screen so I can see it. And then we're going to rotate that a bit. And here you can see that cut. And then we'll hit control seven. And we're going to click this guy to save those changes. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'm just going to rinse and repeat on the four sides. All right, so we've got all of the cuts taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the door assembly. Oh, well, it's right here. So what I meant to do is make a drawing for this. So we're going to go ahead and go file make drawing from assembly and we're going to do A4 which is an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper I'm going to press OK and we want the back view strictly for this purpose and we will make an actual drawing later but right now we just want to get the dimensions that we have to make for the glass we're going to put in so we're going to go ahead and go smart dimension from this line to this line. So that's ten and a quarter. And then this line to that line, which is fifteen and three quarters of an inch. All right. So we're going to do file new part front plane center rectangle. Do 10.25 and by was it 15 and a quarter? 15 and three quarters. And I believe the glass cut we made was 1 16th of an inch. So we're going to do features, extrude boss base. Mid plane, do one over sixteen, and then we're going to make this transparent. So let's go to appearances. I'm going to do the entire part, and so we've got color and texture and decals. So let me see about appearances. Plastic, metal, painted, glass. Uh, there's gloss or textured, so let's see what gloss looks like. Let's go ahead and do clear glass. And go ahead and check mark. Control S. And cost the glass pane. And go back to the door assembly. We're going to go to the back view. Insert component, glass pane, 
I'm going to go ahead and mate the all the things we need to do here. So let's make sure it doesn't move. It's fully defined. Control 7 for isometric. Control S to save. Control tab to look at the cabinet assembly. And we've got a glass pane here. And just to make sure it actually is flush, we're going to go back to the assembly. I'm going to hit from the right. And there's no outcrop of where the glass is, so that, that looks perfect right now. And this video has gone for about six minutes, so really we we learned that by going uh, into the edit part in the individual assembly would allow you to edit the component. So I'm going to go ahead and essentially duplicate the process for the glass pane to the back here to make the wood. Okay, so we've got the uh, cuts taken care of, and I just finished the uh, back panel. So we're going to go ahead and insert components. Back panel. Go ahead and mate components now. And everything should fit together nicely. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and back to this door assembly, and we're going to go ahead and just say show components to bring it back. And this is almost the entire cabinet. Um, the only thing that we are currently missing is the um, the shelves and the the holes for the shelves. Um, I will do a separate video for how the the holes can be put in. There's an actual tool for that, which I will demonstrate in the separate video. Uh, so this is part three, and I'll work on part four.